let us uh, see what is there in this question now a detector measures the count rate from the sample of the radioactive nuclide from the radioactive nucleide the detector is measuring the count rate the graph shows the variation with the time t of uh, the count rate the nuclide has a half life of 20 second the average background count rate is constant but it is not given so the average count rate is constant but it is not given background count rate and the graph is given it is given only given data is that the half life is 20 seconds okay and this is the graph what is the average background count rate this is what we want to find let us see how are we going to do this so what we know as of now is that whatever is the value that is recorded by the device it is wrong background value has to be subtracted out of it once we will subtract it and then only the exponential graph will be there so let us say that the background uh, radiation is x and the actual activity at the start was a naught so it will be subtracted like this and uh, then we will be applying the formula for like this t divided by t half it will give you the new activity but uh, these formulas will not be helpful here because the data given is not uh, sufficient but the half life is given as 20 half life is given as 20 now in this question my dear student let us see so what we know is that the count rate as counted by the device is including the background noise also so the background radiation that is calculated here it gives you a constant value and that constant value is added everywhere i mean to say that the activity is a is equal to a naught e raised to power negative lambda t this is the exponential curve which this graph should actually be depicting but it is not the case why because there is a background noise and we can just call it b the background uh, count rate i'm calling it b so b is added on it and the point to be noted is that it is a constant value it is added everywhere so the actual graph is when you subtract something out of it like let us say you subtract three or four or five like two you sub you subtract two here so this will become 17 you subtract two here this will become nine so there will be a graph like this so the complete graph is moved parallelly along the y-axis because of this b so this has to be actually subtracted got it so this count rate which is 19 is including the background radiation now what is the value given here so the data that is given is that 20 should become the t half this is the half life it means when you subtract something let us say you are subtracting x number of squares here you're going for this column now so after 20 also you are going to subtract the same value you are going to subtract x from the first you are going to subtract x from the time value also whatever is the value that you're getting here and whatever is the value that you're getting here they should be double of each other got it because this is the half life i don't know if you're able to understand what i'm saying but this is how the things will be let me do this question and you will understand each and everything it's kind of hit and trial there is no mathematics behind it give you let me give you the example let us say that we are subtracting three out of it one two three you get 16 so three is subtracted from all of the values so from this also three is subtracted one two three and what is the value that you're getting here eight and the value that you're getting here is 16 clearly there is a relationship between them that if eight is multiplied by two you get 16 or 16 divided by two you get eight isn't it so now i can say that if the graph is actually this i can say that yes 20 second is actually the half life you try to understand like if i'm referring to this graph this is this value is 19 and at 20 you are getting the value 11 this is not half life because 11 multiplied by 2 will give you 22 as the value and this is 19 so the relation as of now is not that of half life so in the half life what what is the condition there that when the the, the point where you are starting your graph like you are starting your graph at 16 it should reach 8 at t is equal to 20 second and how is that possible if you are going to subtract 3 here if you are going to subtract 3 here 
it is possible in this way and that is why only this will be your final graph and we can say that three should be the background noise because three has been added there so the disturbance is caused because of three otherwise uh, 20 second cannot be half life that is the condition this is how we do this question so thanks for watching the video please subscribe to the youtube channel uh, let me show you the answer on the mark scheme also like sometimes the students have that in their mind that is is really the answer is c and yes the answer is c so this is how we do this and uh, if there is any problem you are still not able to understand it properly please mention that in the comment section otherwise i think it should be good to go with okay dear students uh, please subscribe to the youtube channel thank you